hurt you for God's will for me. Hello and welcome to the podcast. Again, thank you for tuning in. People are writing me and they're thanking me. And I'm thanking them. I love that you're listening. And I even got some uh, feedback from a, a friend of mine whose children, uh, they're adult children, but they listen. And they'll I, Pastor Frank, I really like this one. <laughs> and I said, I like that you're listening. So please tell a friend about the program. Feel the joy of the Lord. That joy is your strength. And one thing God has given me is a fountain of joy. And I like to share it with you. And I, I get that by giving you the Word of God and telling you of the things that He's done in my life so that you can have it and experience it in your life. And that's what we're talking about today uh, as we continue this series about abiding in the vine and walking with God, to abide, to live with God every day of your life, to abide. And it is such an exciting, exciting life then. I've had a wonderful life, and I know many of you who listen have also, as you've walked with God in the cool of the day, He came to redeem our life, to make something good out of it. Otherwise, it's tough out there without God. I don't know how they do it, quite honestly. But I have loved the Lord since I was a child. And I really think I gave my life to the Lord. I was uh, raised in a denomination where the ministers didn't marry. And I thought that's what I was going to have to do to be a minister. And so one day I was at church and I was in the cry room. And I think I was about four because I remember it. I might have not known the terminology, but I gave my life to the Lord. And I said to him, I said, if I have to live here <laughs> at the church or in that house across the street, you know, I will do it because I want to go to heaven when I die. I want to be with you for all eternity. And I've had a wonderful life and I have felt the presence of God. And I encourage you, give your life to him today. Let him take it and, and do something good with it. Amen? So one good thing he does is he lives with you. He'll walk with you if you ask him to. When, uh, when they were on the road to Emmaus, uh, he, he pretended that he was going to go further. And they said, no, stay with us. So I think sometimes the Lord likes to know that we want him to be with us. And, and he did stay with them and reveal himself to them. So I encourage you to tell the Lord, walk with me. Stay with me. As we look at John chapter 15, and we go a little further now uh, into verse number 8, and it says, By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so will you be my disciples. So we're talking about living in Christ, and we're talking about uh, the idea about bearing fruit. And we, we looked at that last week, and we talked about how the Word needs to abide in you. You need to eat the word of God. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. It is the bread of life. And as you do that, you will produce fruit. And he then goes into the next verse and says, this fruit bearing glorifies his father. And he says, by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so will you be my disciple. So what is a disciple? A disciple is someone who imitates their teacher or their master. And what did Jesus do? He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And so we need to be change agents for, for our father and to bring the kingdom of God in earth as it is in heaven. When we pray, you know, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In, in, in heaven, there, there is not demon possession. <laughs> there is not a sick, crippling illnesses. It just isn't. It's heaven. And we're called to bring this kingdom. And so is the Father glorified. He says the kingdom is at hand. What does that mean? That means that as far as my hand could go, this is how close the king, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That means we're like face to face with God, with Jesus. It's right at hand. And so we bring that kingdom down from heaven onto earth as we walk and abide and live in the vine and produce this fruit. The Father is glorified and we really become his disciples, his imitators. And I want you to know one very important part of that word disciple is discipline. You cannot do your own thing when you feel like it and really 
really walk with God. I'm not saying you lose your salvation, but you don't have the abundant life. The, the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy you. You've got a very real enemy. I'm just talking to you about a way to overcome or have the victory to triumph in Christ. And that is by abiding in the vine and letting the word live in you that you allow yourself to be cleansed of all unrighteousness and sin. And you begin to walk with God in the spirit. You, you feed your spirit. You produce fruit. And that's how you're known as his disciple. And my prayer and my wife's prayer is that they would know us by our love. We used to sing a song years ago, they'll know we are Christians by our love. And it's very scriptural, by the way. Uh, they're supposed to know. So this fruit of the spirit of love is, is, is a powerful force that overcomes evil. It, it, it does not you know, count somebody's wrongs. It, it, it never fails. Love never fails. And when you allow this fruit of love to, to develop in you, so people actually know you by this, they see the consistency in you your life, that you live out what you say. You're not a hypocrite. You walk in the spirit and live in the spirit and you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh and you produce these fruit. And, and God wants that because the Father is glorified. When, when you start looking like Jesus, and that's how Jesus looks. He's kind, he's strong, but he's gentle. I'm telling you, oh, he's amazing. I love Jesus and I want to be just like him. And I want you to want that. And that's what I want to pray for you today, that you really take on the mantle of being a disciple of Christ, a disciplined person who is living their life, abiding with him, walking with him, and producing fruit, fruit that remains, and are truly a disciple of the Lord, a disciplined follower. Father, in the name of Jesus, give this grace of obedience and discipline. There's someone out there today, you've just not been, you've been very lax with your Christianity. He wants to tighten it up a little bit. Father, help them to, to live and walk in this discipline, just like an athlete, that they will produce great fruit, especially when they're put in the game and win it for the Lord. Oh, yes. Ooh, I want that in Jesus' name. The Father's glorified in that. Amen. Please send me a line. You can write me at frankjulian5 at gmail.com or go to the website. We've talked about that, frankjulianministries.com. I'd love for you to let me know if you got anything out of this today. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Until then, tell a friend about the program. Bye for now.